Hello guys, let's talk about the three types of equations that you can write for metathesis reactions. So the first one is the molecular equation, and this is the general equation that you are used to seeing where we have the reactants and the products without indicating the ionic nature of the compounds. Then we have a new one, the complete ionic equation, in which all strong electrolytes are going to be given as their ions and the net ionic equations where we cross out the so-called spectator ions and I'm going to explain to you what spectator ions are. So let's do an example. Let's write the balanced molecular complete ionic and net ionic equations for the reaction between potassium iodide and lead nitrate. And this is a precipitation reaction. We are going to form lead iodide as our product, which is insoluble in water. So let's start with the molecular equation. And we wrote this equation already out in a previous video. So we have Ki, potassium iodide, which is aqueous, plus lead nitrate, PbNO3 two times. This is also aqueous. And because this is a metathesis reaction, we are simply switching between ions. So potassium will be paired with nitrate ions and iodide ions will be paired with lead ions. The so first product is KNO3, potassium nitrate. This is soluble in water, so we give that this is aqueous. Plus the other product is lead iodide, PBI2, which is insoluble in water, so this is going to be our solid. Let's balance the reaction out. We see that we have two nitrate ions on the reactant side. We have only one on the product side, so we need a two right there. So now we have two potassium ions on the product side. We need to have two on the reactant side, so we need a two there. Now we have two iodide ions here, two iodide ions there. Good. So this is the simple molecular equation, okay? So all the reactants and products are indicated without giving the ionic nature of the compounds. Now, what do we do in a complete ionic equation? We have to show all strong electrolytes in their ionic form. So everything that is soluble in water has to be shown as an ion. So we start with Ki, so two potassium ions, which are aqueous, plus two iodide ions, which are also aqueous, plus, now we move on to the next reactant, Pb2+, plus, which is also aqueous, plus 2NO3-, minus, which is also aqueous. What are our products? So we move on to 2K plus the potassium ions, those are also aqueous, plus 2 times the nitrate ions, which are also aqueous. Okay, so what happens with lead iodide? It is not a strong electrolyte. It is indeed insoluble in water, so we will have to show it as PBI2 solid okay so this is simply the complete ionic equation you took all the strong electrolytes and you showed them in their dissociated ionic forms okay now in the net ionic equation the third type we have to cross out the so-called spectator ions and the spectator ions are the, the ions that actually do not change from the reactant to the product side let me show you what I mean. For example, we have the potassium ions on both sides. They look exactly the same way. They are dissolved. They are not doing anything. They are literally just there and then just staring around and, oh, I am in a reaction, but nothing really happened, right? Are there any other ions that have the same thing going on? 
the nitrate ions, right? So they are the same on the reactant and on the product side. So what I need to do in my net ionic equation, I have to cross those out. I have a silly example for this. When friends go on a double date and you have one pair who clicks and they start a relationship and the other pair, they just stay friends and they do nothing. So kind of potassium and the nitrate ions here are the ones that are okay we went to the date but nothing really happened okay we are in a reaction but nothing really happened with us but between the lead and the iodide ions the interaction between the ions is so strong that they actually formed a solid okay so now I have to cross out in my net ionic equation the potassium ions and the nitrate ions. So I only have to use the iodide ions, 2I minus, which is aqueous, plus the lead ions, Pb2 plus, which is aqueous on the reactant side. And I'm going to have one product, which is the lead iodide PbI2. And this is my solid. That's it. Okay. I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.